the wide open shot from Morris. Drills it from outside. Morris has got five points so far. James outside. Pass to Love. Stick it too much. 13 feet away. Hooker pulls it in. Well, I think the defense got lucky right there. I mean, he's going to make a lot more of those than he misses when he's got that much room. Right with it. He's picked up by Irving. And Irving with a clear path to the hoop. Finished off the break. Irving's got his third basket of the night right there. Great anticipation and awareness to come up with the steal and trigger the fast break. And now just a one possession game thanks to that quick hitter. Outstanding play in the open court. Here's Booker. And so he ends a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and he'll shoot two. Hey guys, in a draft with so many talented big men and, and lead guards, Booker was a bit of a hot commodity. One of the purest sharpshooters in the draft has a lightning quick release on his jump shot. Okay, gentlemen, two shots, two shots. Free throw, good Booker. Oh my God. And with Booker, you know, who is a Kentucky guy, he's a sharpshooter, Greg, you're talking about that. His dad actually played at the University of Missouri. Mm -hmm. He was a pretty good shooter. Clark, uh, this Booker has a, a pretty good frame to work with, and I think that's going to serve him well in the NBA. Yeah, I agree with you. I like his size. I like his stroke. I like his toughness. I think he's going to be better defensively than people think. He's got a lot of good stuff in his game already. And on the bench for the Suns is Jeff Hornacek, probably one of the tougher coaches in the league. He'll go to your ear if you make mental error. Now here's Williams. 11 points for him in that last game against Minnesota. Henderson with a screen on Price. It's Williams with the drive. Some solid defense from Knight. And for Coach Hornacek, Greg, he learned from one of the toughest coaches as a player. You know, several trips to the finals. And you know this guy well, Clark. Jerry Sloan was the guy that molded Jeff Hornacek. One of the outstanding coaches in the history of the NBA, Jerry Sloan. Although Hornacek saw all that success in Utah, this is a homecoming job for him because he started his career in Phoenix. Here's Williams. Brandon Knight picking up that last basket. Outside Williams. Puts it up. Again, the miss by Williams. From deep three-point range, that misses would have counted had it gone in. And we reach. Transitioning from college to the pros can be a challenge for many players. Here's what Freak had to say about adjusting his game to the NBA. The biggest difference is endurance, both mentally and physically. The college season is what, 30, 40 games max? It's not even halfway through an NBA season. Plus, you're playing against the best talent every night. I'm just trying to put in work, get in the gym, study film, and um, prepare myself for each and every game. Ah, good points, Clark. What role do coaches play in helping young players like that adjust to the long NBA schedule? Well, you know, Kevin, they're going to give their teams the best chance to win no matter what the circumstance is. If that means playing young guys extended minutes, then all systems go. I mean, that's what being a pro is all about. And the first quarter is in the books. Second about ready to get underway. And taking a look at the Suns' performance here, guys, uh, what have they been doing or not doing? I just don't know that you're going to see a better quarter defensively than what we saw in the first. Really a big part of why they're on top here. The defense has been on point. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. And Phoenix looking who they've got on the floor. Sonny Weems is out there with John Lure. Then there's right, Ronnie now, Price. Gentlemen. Then two it's shots. Chandler. And it's Bledsoe in at the two spot. First one falls for him. And guys, last season was a painful one for Anderson Verja. Uh, he had finally shaken the back injury that sidelined him the year before, signs the multi-year contract extension with the Cavs, 
things were starting to look up. Then only three weeks later, he tears the Achilles and was ruled out for the season. You talk about a tough break. And so Verizhao hits them both. And adding insult to injury, certainly, Greg, as you were talking about, Verizhao played well at the start of last season. Uh, shooting 56% from the field. Clark, I think he was over 70% from the line. Those were career highs. Yeah, and a terrible blow for Verizhao and the Cavs because of that injury, the Achilles tendon. But it led to the deal for Mozgov, and mm -hmm. that's worked out quite nicely. And so it's Cleveland with it. The Suns getting the bucket. Upside Williams. From outside, off the mark. It's a completely new group on the floor for the Cavaliers. Phoenix making some changes. Outside Knight. And that one hits back iron. He tried to throw the spin move into his act that time. It worked about as well as you'd expect, Kev. That's not his game. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. And for Kevin Love, such a big part of that Minnesota Timberwolves franchise. I mean, they drafted him fifth overall back in 08, and really he had been their catalyst his entire career. Even last year when he decided he finally wanted out, he helped the Wolves land Andrew Wiggins in the trade that shook the league. Well, Kevin Love, and we've kind of gone over some things in Minnesota with, with Greg, but, but Clark, Kevin Love probably wasn't long for the Timberwolves. Yeah, it was time for fresh scenery, and that's why the Cavs offered up the house, including Wiggins, who eventually became Rookie of the Year for the chance to get Love. Both free throws good from Kevin Love. Here in the second quarter, they've made all of their shots from the foul line, and that's a must-do when you're down. Len, a screen. Here's Booker. Yes, and Knight with the assist that time. Booker's got five points so far. Perfect screen there. Set him up with a terrific look. Yeah, I like the fact that the setup was good. The screen was solid. But you also have to look at the fact that the defender the didn't do his Stick job as well as he could have. James. And it's Thompson with the jam. And can you always depend on him or what James. to lead you to the right place with that pass? Money. Phoenix leading by seven. One fifty three left in the first half. Elbow shot. The Cavaliers pull it in coming off that loss against the Timberwolves. Yeah they were just pounded on the inside particularly on that backboard. That was a huge disadvantage for them. Well that's always a disadvantage when you get blasted on the glass. They needed to do a much better job of getting inside position. And if you can't do that it's going to be a long day on the backboards. And that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. And Phoenix has possession. Next up for them, the Knicks, a road game in New York. They're in the midst of a four-game road trip right now. That'll be game number three. Moore as a screen. Knight kicks it to Tucker. From 11 feet away, and that's collected by Love. Love's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Irving against Knight. Irving passes to Love. Looks a big height. Thompson goes in. And now it's only a five-point Suns lead. A, a tough start scoring the basketball, but they're starting to turn it around now. Yeah, it looks like they've gained a little bit of confidence as the lid has come off the hoop. The Suns have gone 7-15 from the field here in the second quarter. Just under 50% shooting. There's 48 seconds left to play in the first half. Morris a screen. Knight dishes to Morris. Lock at six. Phoenix no good that time either. Cavaliers have gone six and 12 in the second quarter, right at the 50% mark from the field. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. It goes on Brandon Knight. Clearly a foul. Yeah, he took a shot there. Earned those free throws. The line. And for Kyrie Irving, it had been a long time coming. Last season, he finally played in his first postseason with the Cavs. And up until the unfortunate injury, he certainly made the most of it. No good on that one. 
And think again about the playoffs last year, Clark. They weren't all sunshine and roses for Irving. He had to play through a tough leg injury in the conference semifinals, and of course the injury in the finals, the fractured kneecap, and he was gone. Yeah, that was really painful to watch, seeing him go out for the rest of the playoffs with that fractured kneecap. A freak injury, but he'll grow from it and be better. Now, here is Knight. They've been leaning on him for a decent chunk of their offense. He's averaging over 15 points a game. Now eight seconds separate in the two clocks. Out to Morris. All sorts of time. The rebound by Kevin Love. Love's got six rebounds in the game. Dishes to LeBron. Love with the screen for James. And the call is going to be, yes, yes it is, an illegal screen. Yeah, you've got to make sure your feet are set when you set those screens or they're going to call that on you. Well, I thought maybe he was set. I know that's a difficult call to make, but I think they might have missed that one. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. Suns lead by four. And now we'll send it down to Doris Burke, who's standing by courtside. Well, Tyson, coming off the loss in the last game, it seems like you guys are playing with a renewed intensity here tonight. What's been the difference? Well, we just can't allow them to stay around close. You know, not, last night we had a letdown. Tonight we got to do a better job of getting down, staying on our ground, playing defense, and taking advantage of this game. Tyson, thank you for the time. Guys, over to you. All right, Doris, thank you, and stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter underway. Okay, guys, let's focus and get down to business. Now, here's a few things I took away from the first half. I like the way we're valuing the basketball. Keeping those turnovers down has really helped us throughout the first two quarters. I will say this for us. We were well-balanced in general with our offense and defense. There wasn't a drop-off in energy at one end of the quarter or the other. That was good. Okay, one more thing. A smooth flow to the second half is just what we're looking for. Let's keep things moving, but not at some kind of breakneck pace. All right, guys, let's get out there and play a good second half. Ladies and gentlemen, your Cavaliers. And now the start of the second half. Neither side jumping out ahead through the first two quarters. Tremendous output from Bledsoe. He's got 11 points, and he's put one three-pointer on the board. You know what, though, Clark? It wouldn't be a bad idea going forward to try to let him do a little more damage from beyond the arc. 